to look at the damage and what was stolen. KPIX 5 reporter Kid Doe reports from San Leandro. The owner of the Dodge dealership in San Leandro saw the whole thing coming. There were looters across the way at the Nike clearance store. It looked like they were finishing up and then starting to cross the street. The employees had moved some of the cars to block the driveway, and then he told them to retreat and get out of there. Man, they're stealing all the cars. Video posted to social media shows the moment looters were stealing brand new cars and driving them off the lot. Some of them stopping to burn out the tires on the way. How many vehicles? Right now we're thinking 50. Plus. Stolen? Gone. So we have trackers on them, so we're seeing which ones are out there. So we have, they're running around everywhere. Owner Carlos Hidalgo said the crooks broke into the building and gained access to the key safe. They got through the first one. And likely triggered the car alarms to guide them to the corresponding vehicle. Every empty parking space you see here represents a stolen car. They took nearly every high-end $100,000 Dodge Hellcat. The one that was in this spot was used to ram the other ones out of the way. So they just drove it right through here. And the one that was on the showroom floor, they drove it right out the front window. It's wild. Look at all these people. Across the street, this was the scene last night in front of the Nike store, the parking lot filled with looters arriving in their cars. The damage gives you some hint of the tsunami of violence and criminal activity that was about to overcome the city. Shelves, racks, cash registers, all picked clean. Glass, merchandise, and debris were strewn out everywhere. Seize candy? Emptied out. Togo sandwiches? Ransacked as well. The dollar store? Glass broken, but mostly untouched. By sunrise, we saw stragglers actually return to the scene with garbage bags to pick up stolen merchandise that was dropped on the ground. But we also met Gloria, who came down to help clean up at Bayfair when she saw the destruction from the looters on TV. When I woke up this morning, I just said, what can I do for my community? As for Carlos, he says this also hurts the 100 people he employs who've been struggling in the pandemic. It's, it's not a cause for anybody. You know, this is just bad thieves. You know, it's, it's, it's horrible. It, this is domestic terrorism. In San Leandro, Kitto, KPIX 5.